Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And today I want to cover a quick question that I got was, uh, you know, can you tell or how do you tell whether or not your air gun barrel is choked? So just a simple, quick method of how to do it. Um, I'm going to use my Umarex gauntlet because I know it is choked. Um, Umarex actually, actually confirmed it over the telephone when I asked about the rate of twist in the barrel, but uh, a real easy way to do it without any you know special calipers or tools or anything like that is to shoot it and I have a bucket of water over here uh, that I'm going to shoot a pellet right out of the tin unconditioned uh, factory right out of the tin that has not been you know through the barrel yet and go ahead and shoot it with the at the water to capture the pellet and show you what the barrel does, uh, or at least what a choke barrel does. So let's do it. So as you've seen there, uh, choke barrel really uh, leaves some markings on the pellet. And just by looking at it, uh, these pellets are actually way oversized for this gun, but uh, they're the H&N Field Target Trophy 553 head size and 22 cal. So this works with any caliber, but to see if the gun is choked or choking the pellets that you're shooting, the first driving band on the head of the pellet here is very uniform and has uh, you know a lot of new surfacing on it on top of the actual rifling cuts so in between the rifling cuts the lead should be uh, smashed down and pretty uh, concentric all the way around that's pretty much how you tell now if there was no choke or hardly any choke at all you would just barely see the uh, cuts in the rifling uh, on the pellet itself and it would be um, kind of like what the tail looks like even though the tail uh, does have some cutting on it um, but not as bad as the head because the head is bigger than the tail of the, or the skirt of the pellet so you can see the first driving band of a choked uh, pellet and it uh, really shows it's a real wide uh, surface area but if like I said you're shooting pellets that aren't getting choked or your barrels not choked very much your first driving band of a pellet won't have much uh, won't have much deformation to it, whether it's the rifling cut into it or the in between the rifling, uh, the actual bore itself causing the deformation. So, hope this helps. Like I said, real simple. All you gotta do is shoot the gun, something to capture the pellet, not to deform it too bad. That way you can see the first driving band. But that's it, guys. Hope this helps to tell whether your gun is choked and. Uh, whether you're using the right pellets, uh, like I said, you know, if it's, uh, if it's actually choking the pellets you're shooting, so, or even if you have a choke. But that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks again.